all right guys welcome to another video so the previous video you saw the wife get a new fish tank just for her my peace what do you mean it'll be, be alright no what if you got water on it and although she was initially worried about the piece of furniture that I'd put the tank on I think it went down well after that that's look pretty cool I know you didn't <laughs> You can you can choose the fish for it. This is your tank, so you can choose the fish. Anything. Anything. You want. Anything you want, as long as it fits in the tank. It's only eleven gallons, so. Do I have a budget? Within reason. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, she was pretty excited, and today we're going to get the first fish for that tank. Right after this. So here we are, I'm pretty sure you can figure out what kind of fish my wife's gonna get. And she was originally looking at the white opal males, there were quite a few, and they all looked to be in pretty good health, nice finage, and that were the main thing that she was looking for. So she had her eye on two or three of the white opal males, including this guy here, which was really, really cool. But after a while, she started second guessing herself and this guy became the white opal male that she were strongly thinking about. And then this guy got introduced that was a double tail male who was blue with a little bit of white around his fins as well. And she really started to like him. So it was an absolute toss up between which one she was gonna get. All she liked was the double tail male's finage when he flexed, which was really cool. There was this really huge king male as well. And this guy was an absolute monster. Fins not too great, but in terms of the size of him, he was a beast. And I thought he would have been a really interesting fish to keep, but it was a toss up between this guy, who was really, really nice, and this white opal male. So if you've got an idea of which one she might have picked, leave it in the comments now <laughs> and we'll see if you're right. But we got the bait of fish home and we wanted to acclimate him. So we did that by putting him in this container and then adding some water out of the tank to the container every five minutes. We did this for about three or four sets, so 15, 20 minutes in total. And that just got him used to the water parameters as well as the temperature in the tank all at the same time. If you're receiving shipped fish or you've drove a long way with the fish in the bag, I wouldn't suggest doing this just because of the ammonia buildup when you do open the bag. So I would suggest just to float them, get them used to temperature and then wring them out into a net and put them in the tank from there. But in this case, seeing as the shop was only about 15, 20 minutes away from us, I thought this was the best method to use and the safest in my opinion. Once we'd done that, for like I said, about 15, 20 minutes, it was ready to go in the tank. The wife wanted to do it. So here she goes, we're gonna speed this up because it, it took a while. So I think she's pretty happy with the choice and now we're gonna use some Fritz bacteria that we're gonna to add to the tank. A lot of this soil and gravel and the pre-filter and all the filtration that we're using in this tank is seeded, but we're gonna use this extra bacteria just to help the tank if it's, if it's lost any 
biological bacteria along the way when we were moving all the stuff. I don't think it will have done because I moved it pretty quick, but just in case, better to be safe than sorry. And overall, I'm absolutely buzzing with how this tank turned out. And I think my wife is as well. There she goes taking photos of the beta fish and the whole aquascape. So I'm happy that she likes it. And of course, I really, really like the scape just in terms of the contrast that I managed to create with the sand and then the rock scape. And once that Monte Carlo grows in, I think it's going to look unbelievable. Also looks really good and makes me happy that I've got one tank upstairs that is kind of a showpiece and then I can kind of invite everyone else that visits downstairs into the huge aquarium room where we've got the 125 gallon and then we're going to have a boatload of tanks behind that so that's going to be fun but overall really happy that the wife likes it and I think it's going to be something that we can talk about together and watch together just as we are doing right now and we'll think about other fish that can go in there um, I know she doesn't want anything too crazy because she wants the beta fish to be the main attraction so it's going to probably be something subtle and something that hasn't got incredibly long fins so the beta fish doesn't absolutely crush it um, so maybe like a school of tetra or something like that so we'll go from there but anyway we'll leave you guys with some cinematics to finish i really hope you enjoy this tank and I'm, overall i'm really happy that my wife does too so happy days mission accomplished let us know in the comments if you like her choice of this blue beta fish and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching guys, liking, commenting, all that good stuff you do and we'll see you on the next one. Real quick question, if we've got any hobbyists that keep betas right now, is he napping right now? What is he doing? I'd love to know. Leave it in the comments.